Is this already drag? I can be like, I'm a man. I'm a masculine man with a wig. So mask. So hi! This is I. I just want to have long hair, honestly, just to flick it around and hit people in the face with it. I mean, that's such a big mood, honestly. Let's not kid ourselves. Like, I am clearly not capable at managing long hair. I mean, even my wigs are messy AF. But they look fabulous, and that's all that matters, really. Imagine there's like a wind machine in front of me, and it just goes like, making that sound, yeah. <laughs> That's how I imagine wind machines work. Can you tell that I'm not really around that high production quality life, huh? <laughs> so, what do you think? Not about my wig, it clearly is amazing. But what do you think? I mean, how about we talk about gender as something really cool and fun and explorative and like freeing instead of like this entire like nonsense about like how it needs to be binary and we all need to, need to fit into like two small categories because we'll fight and I'll fight you with my wig and I'm dangerous. I'm more dangerous than I look. I'm too fun for this bullshit. Basically, I'm thinking life's hard, life's tough. When you're non-binary, it's freaking tough. When you're trans, it's freaking tough. So I propose that we all just like throw some sparkle in the air and <laughs> make the best out of this existence. What do you think about playing with gender expression? Are you wearing lipstick and a beard? Are you wearing a dress and high heels? Are you super mask, 50 billion mask, but also love nail polish? Are you just like a gender fucking mask that just like lives to confuse people on the streets so they have something to look at because their lives are so boring? Are you one of those people? Let me know because I need to have more of these people in my life because obviously I'm all of that.